What is the biggest lie of reselling world? Stay tuned. Hello ladies and gents and welcome to the channel. I'm Polish Pete and I source cheap ladies clothing in bulk and then I sell them individually on eBay. So what is the biggest lie of the reselling world? Well, that was a little bit of clickbait, but keep watching. I've got a really interesting thing for you. So in my opinion, every single reseller here on YouTube and, he, and the other social media websites as well, uh, will tell you two things that are kind of closely in con interconnected with each other. I mean, one, eBay loves active accounts, and two, you have to list on a regular basis to keep your account active. Now, how many, how many of you guys have heard that before? It's a flipping mantra of those gurus. Yeah? You have to list. There is no other way. You have to list, list, list. You have to be active, so you have to list possibly every day yeah but ebay is not as easy as list 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 sell 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 list 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 sell 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 if it was as easy as that guys i would be millionaire by now it's not that easy now don't get me wrong right there is nothing bad in listing new items it is the only way to grow your business isn't it if you want list more than you sell, you won't be able to grow. That, that, that's simple. Nobody questions that. But I just want to say that listing new items to keep your account active is not the only way to go. It's not like if you want list new items, you, your account won't be active and you won't sell anything. Yeah? It's not like the only way to keep your sales coming is listing new items. It's not like that. That, you know, your sales are low, so you have to list more to push your sales, uh, your sales up. It's not like your sales will dramatically go down because you are not listing. And those people, those gurus, those reselling gurus, they say exactly that you have to list 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 and the only way to push up your sales is to list if you want list you won't sell you won't sell well, that, that's a lie guys that's a lie maybe not blunt lie but that's definitely not true yeah i'll show you some numbers in a while to prove you that but I would like to talk about something first. Let's talk about that active account. If somebody says that your eBay account has to be active, he or she doesn't really say anything. Because what does it mean to be active? Right? It's like with footballers on a football pitch. Yeah? It's not enough to run around like a headless chicken. Yeah? Running around like a headless chicken is being active. But... It doesn't bring anything it doesn't bring goals sometimes it's better to stand still in a good place than run around like a maniac in a wrong place yeah if somebody says that your account has to be active he or she doesn't understand ebay your account has to be proactive yeah and that's a massive difference it's like a difference between chair and electric chair yeah you can sit on both yeah, but it's a massive difference between two of those. So, by listing more and more and more items, items you show eBay that your account is active, right? Right, your account is active, but is it proactive? I mean, do you do anything proactively to sell your items? Or just simply you just list them and wait for eBay to sell them right do you really think eBay wants 
wants you to do that. Do eBay wants you to list, list, list and wait for eBay to do their job. You know, if I was eBay, I wouldn't like, I can't like that. Like that. I would like to have accounts that do their best to sell the items, right? So what do I mean by that? For example, sending external traffic to your account, revising your listings on a regular basis, using promoted listings, I don't know, answering questions super quick, sorting out returns super quick, offering markdown sales, offering long return periods, offering, I don't know, po different postage options, you know, so the customer can choose, you know, quick dispatch, I don't know, leaving feedback for your customers as soon as they pay, etc, 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 etc. Guys, I hope you know what I mean. Yeah, we have to do anything we can to push items out. We have to proactively push our listings and do our best to sell. And we have to give your, our customers the best possible service. eBay has to see that. Algorithm has to see that. Algorithm has to know about, about your abilities to sell. Yeah? It's not like, right, list some shit and wait for eBay to sell it. Now, guys, let's go to my laptop now and let's have a look at some numbers. Now, these numbers don't include last two weeks, which were disastrous, by the way. Why? Obviously, if you've seen my what sold videos, we have a summer slowdown and sales are really low at the moment. And I just gave up a bit, I must admit that. You know, I just gave up on my proactivity okay. so uh, one more thing i want to say if i could list new items i would definitely do that yeah i would never try to experiment like that you know when i don't list anything new for extended period of time however life has forced me to do so I'm abroad for a long period of time and I can't list anything new. So I would like to use that as a perfect opportunity to see what has happened and kind of draw conclusion out of that. Okay, guys, we have a spreadsheet here. In this column A, these are the dates. This is the Sunday of the week. Uh, like a, a weekend of, of the, so this date, 29th of November, uh, 2020 was the Sunday that was the end of this particular week. This is the number of items that I have sold during that week. This is the money that I have taken during that week. And this is how many active items I had at the beginning of the week. So we see here 1,571 items active. We've sold 20. So we've got next week, starting with 1,551. Now, the last time I have listed new item was in October, 2020. Now this starts in November because this is when I have started to do my videos. So I just have gone through my what sold videos and I just, you know, make an, made a note items and money taken, items sold and money taken. So these are the weeks and you, you can see here, uh, items sold 20, 26, 29, 22, 13, 28, 24, etc., 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 etc. Yeah. And we have here an average number of sold items being 25 items 0.79. This is the last week that we are talking about. 13th of June 2021, yeah, and then after that we had two weeks of very low uh, sales. Now the average of items uh, of money taken was 286 pounds and 79 pence. 
And as you can see, the number of active items went down from that 1571 down to 844. So let's have a look at some graphs. So, sorry. So this line represents the number of items sold. So average number of items sold was around 26. So around here, yeah, when that red mark is going. So between all those two lines, that was the average number of items sold. As you can see on this graph, yeah, it's more or less constant. So it is, there are some dips, there are some peaks, but it is more or less constant, keeping itself between 20 and 30, yeah? Let's have a look on the amount taken. So amount of money taken, again, uh, we have, let me have a look, 287 on average. So 287 will be somewhere like, somewhere over here. Just below halfway through those two, two lines. And again, as you can see, we have some dips, we have some peaks, but more or less we are keeping ourselves in between 200 pounds and 400 pounds for all that time, yeah? Like over here, for all the time, we are selling between 20 and 30 items, yeah? Obviously with peaks and dips, but more or less, we are keeping ourselves in between those two lines, 20 and 30 items. Now let's have a look at active items. As you can see, we are going down in more or less a straight line, but a straight line that is going down. So we had just over 1500 items and we ended up with just over 800 items. So as you can see, that line is going down and nobody can say it's not going down. But those two lines, they are keeping themselves in a brackets and nobody can say that this line is going like that. The same like number of items. And the same with this line. It's not going like that, top to bottom, like those that number of items. What does that mean, guys? It means that it, it doesn't matter how many items have you got. It doesn't matter if you list or not, because I haven't been listing at all. And my number of items is going down basically halved. Yeah. But those sales, they are more or less constant. They are more or less keeping between the lines. Yeah. They are more or less within that bracket that we just said. What does that mean? It means that if your account is proactive, if you are doing shit that you're supposed to do, your sales are not dropping, even though you are not listing new items, even though the number of items you've got for sale is going down, you know, very, very significantly. So what can we say about it? We can say about it, don't believe to people that are saying that listing new items is the only way to go. If you can't list your items, there are things that you can do to keep your sales more or less constant, more or less on a constant level, more or less between those brackets. Yeah, guys, this is, this is huge in my opinion. This is huge. This shows that eBay is not list, 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 sell, sell, sell. You don't have to sell, you, sorry, you don't have to list to sell. And probably if you are listing and not doing anything else, you will get some sales, but you won't get like a massive number of sales. It's not like 
if you have a thousand items, you will sell hundred a week. And if you have 2000 items, you will sell 200 a week. It doesn't work like that because I had 1500 items. Now I have half of that 800 items and I'm still selling more or less the same. Very interesting, isn't it? But I want to be clear. I want to be clear here once again. I'm not saying that listing new items is the wrong thing or it won't help you. Of course it will help you. It's a common sense. And I know that common sense is not so common anymore, but it is common sense. If I could list, I would. Yeah. I'm only trying to say that if you can't list, there is another way of doing things. And there is another way of keeping your sales on a reasonable level. It's not the end of the world, basically. Like I've said before, don't be active, be proactive. Don't run around, stand still sometime, but stand still in the correct place. Be ready to move to the better place. If you take action, Take action that is pointing towards customer, that is pointing towards good service, that is pointing towards pushing items out. Take action that brings more sales. Show eBay and its algorithm that you want to sell, that you want to push items out, that you want to go extra mile to do so. Don't just wait for eBay to sell your shit. It's simple. eBay will send extra traffic to the account that converts into sales. And that has to be your account. Yeah. Now, if you can list new items and you do all those things to be proactively trying to sell items, you will get a compounded result. It will be even better. You will have all those new listings pushing up those old ones and you will have those, uh, those sales from old ones bringing more traffic to new one. Yeah. So guys, it is not as simple as list, 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 sell, sell, sell. This is what I'm trying to say. And now, if you think I am mistaken, that I've done something wrong, that I've made wrong assumptions, that my numbers out, you know, are out of the blue or from somewhere else, yeah, that I, if you think that I've drawn wrong conclusions, please, even if you think that I'm an idiot, please let me know down below and Tell me where I was wrong. And I may be wrong. I will be first to admit that. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you find it helpful or interesting. Have a great time, guys. I wish you all the best and I'll see you next time. God bless you all and bye-bye.